Coming up, former UCLA great Ray Bell is here. He is talking about a documentary on the first African American umpire in Major League Baseball. We have that next. These knowledgeable, hardworking umpires in all of professional baseball. Thrill Play of the Game is sponsored by Six Flags Magic Mountain. Go big at Six Flags, the thrill capital of the world. Fly through miles of thrilling coaster track on legends like Twisted Colossus, Full Throttle, Tatsu X2, and the new revolution Galactic Attack. Go Six Flags. That that pitch stays. And that's deep to left, and Hip Hill has tied the game on the next pitch. Yeah, usually you score when you hit a home run, but our thrill play of the game comes from a softball game earlier this week. Alabama freshman Bailey Hepfield hit a homer. She leaps into a crowd of teammates. She's partying, hitting the dab and such, dancing. You know, only one problem. She did not touch home plate. So she tries to go back and touch home. Let's see if she'll make it or not. As you see here, she misses the plate. Seriously. It's a giant white figure. You have to touch it. She doesn't. They tag her. She will eventually be called out. Painful, painful. Almost as painful as when this man, former UCLA linebacker Ray Bell, used to lay the smack on them fools. Here's about Ray. Thank you for being hey, on the show. David. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. But we're not talking football. We're talking no. baseball and this great documentary. Tell us all about it. Well, the, the documentary is about Emmett Ashford. Emmett Ashford was the first African-American umpire in all of Major League Baseball. Uh, he came in the league in 1966 after spending 15 years in the minor leagues. Yeah, what's amazing is Jackie Robinson, we all know he was the first player. But anytime anybody crosses that color barrier, they have to face problems, racism, people that didn't like him. Is that what we're going to see in this documentary? Oh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, you, funny you should mention the fact about Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was one of Emmett Ashford's heroes. And Ashford, uh, coming out of uh, Los Angeles, he was from Jefferson High School, he was a guy that really revolutionized baseball. His style and, and, and panache that he had was, was, was extraordinary. He brought a whole new look to the game of baseball and, and had fans being excited. They were seeing images of Ashford. He had a unique style. During the documentary, you're going to hear from Fred Clare talking about Emmett Ashford. In Los Angeles, Emmett's home ground, there were five, I remember the days, there were five daily newspapers. So when you picked up the Los Angeles Times, or the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, the Los Angeles Mirror, or the Los Angeles Herald Express, you saw pictures of games from the Pacific Coast Lake. And their games were on television, so there was a lot of media coverage uh, that was there. So Emmett was a celebrity. I love the images, I love the documentary, I especially like baseball is such a pastime game, so these mm -hmm. images really tell such an important story in the game. Well, when you, you think about this game itself, we do more than just talk about Emmett Ashford. It's also about the history of the game. We talk about PCL, which which uh, Fred Clare was mentioning there, and, and Fred is certainly a, a historian on the PCL, but it was baseball prior to the Dodgers and Giants coming here. And we delve into that as well, along with Emmett's history in the PCL too. He spent 15 long years in the minor leagues, 12 of which were with the PCL. What I love about it is that that style he put in, he came in Endure. with his swag, While which I'm sure ruffled even more league. feathers. It's like, wait, what, what's this African-American umpire doing? <laughs> Plus, he's doing it with a style? That, that can't happen. Oh, well, well, when you think about a guy that, that really has such a style, he not only had a style, he had a style about how he dressed. He had impeccable dress. He had his shoes shine, suit pressed out, and then his flair for the game was so different and so engaging to the fans that people came in droves just to see him. Yeah, this was a long time ago, but even this weekend during a Red Sox game, racism still throughout baseball still exists in the fans. Back then, it was so much worse. Here's Doug Harvey on the racism that Emmett had to face. Oh, it sent a few ripples, a shot through baseball, because you know, what's he doing here? Uh, 
But that was his style. He was being Emmett Ashford. He wasn't trying to pretend to be some, somebody else. That's how he called the games before he came to the big leagues. And he was unlike the standard umpire. And I'm sure that he had difficulty with it. some of the other umpires thought he was showboating. Yeah, that was Dick Enberg right there. But definitely, I want to see this documentary. Tell the people more about it. When is it going to come out? What can they do to help? Well, we're, we're looking at next year to really put this documentary out there. Uh, we have a um, uh, Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign that we're a part of right now. We only have 24 more days to raise funding for this film so we can air it next year for, on PBS. Uh, certainly we need fans out there to, to, to really get involved with Indiegogo and help us raise the funding for this. They can go to, I don't know if you're going to put, oh, here's, uh, I think that's Emmett uh, in the World Series in 1970. He, he was lucky enough, to, uh, not lucky enough, he was uh, an able-bodied uh, umpire that had the ability to the, be selected for the, the World Series and, and certainly had a lot of fun and brought his style to that game as well. Let's hear Doug Harvey right now and the racism that Emmett faced. One of the situations I observed when I worked with Emmett was the fact that uh, when we traveled, we would stop on the road and everybody would get out and order a hamburger or something and take it back on the bus. And uh, Emmett was not invited to come to the front door. He came in and they walked right up to him and told him, back door. Wow, so tough for players, also for an umpire. I mean, he has to call players out. Must have been difficult back then. Tell us more, again, one more time about this documentary, how you got involved, and how people can be a part of it as well. Well, I've been involved in it for like three years. This has been a, a project with my filmmaker, Doug, Har uh, Doug, Doug Harris, uh, an award-winning filmmaker. He and I got on board with this project three years ago. We looked at this project. You're talking about a... Uh, um, a um, uh, icon, a sports icon from right here in Los Angeles, Jefferson High School. He's one of Los Angeles' uh, great, great sports uh, icons. And we said to ourselves, this story has to be told. It has to be told because he broke the color barrier in an authoritative type position. Jackie Robinson was a participant on the field, Emmett behind the lines. And so we felt as though it had to be told and certainly we need some help in getting it done. And again, I mentioned uh, about the Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. Mention it one more time. We're going to put the info. Um, there it is right there. Tell the people uh, oh, where Oh, we, we, we need help. You can go to Indiegogo.com, log on to Indiegogo.com, and then uh, hit your search bar for, Emmett, uh, for Called Up, the Emmett Ashford story, and it'll take you right to our campaign, and then you can make a donation there. Indiegogo, Called Up, Emmett Ashford film. Look it up, documentary. This is it for now. Don't change the channel. We have a lot more extra innings coming up. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.